Hi there, Vic, the ENT surgeon here. I want to tell you quickly about free field hearing tests. And that's basically, if you don't have an audiologist and you don't have even a phone to do a, a, a test for someone's hearing, you can do this test, which is slightly useful in certain situations, particularly if you've got better at it yourself. So I'm going to tell you how we do that. Sometimes it comes up in exams and some people, particularly doctors, might be interested. In the real world, most people just download an app and listen to noises and get the app to sort of look at your hearing uh, if, if you don't have an audiologist around. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to tell you about this. It's basically what you're doing is you're trying to work out how good someone's hearing is by saying a word to them in their ear. So I'm going to bring out my, my little volunteer here. So the ear hole is here and you stand a particular distance away from them. So if, if it's like over here, I'll be like an arm's length away, 60 centimeters or whatever you want to call it. And you do a whisper or a normal voice, whatever you need to say. And most people use what we call a spondy, a, a two syllable word. So most people just say numbers like 45 or 96 or something like that. So I'd say in a normal voice, 47. And can you repeat that number to me? And they'll say 47. Now, the problem is that me saying 47 in a normal voice will hit this ear, but it will also go around to the other side. So if they've only got hearing loss on one side, they will hear it in the good ear, which may be the other side here. And they'll say, oh, yeah, I can hear 47. So to try and test one ear rather than the other, so sort of isolate one ear, you get your... Um, your your subject and you rub against the ear so I tend to go like this or rub against the ear or rub here to basically what we call masking the noise on that side so they can't hear out of that ear and you talk into this ear so if I was going to talk to this patient I'll be talking to this ear at about 60 centimeters and rubbing rubbing this ear like this on that side so that they can't use that ear for the hearing so I'll be going can you repeat after me the number 72. And then if they say 72, then that way I know that they really are hearing it from this ear. If they can't hear it at all, you can go, hmm, I'll come a little bit closer. Rather than a whole arm's length away, I'd come about sort of 30 centimetres away, say 47 now. And if they can hear it then with me going like this, then you can work out, ah, so you write down your notes, they heard in a normal voice, the word, uh, and they heard me speak at a normal voice at about 30 centimeters away or something like that. Now, there are no hard and fast rules. Uh, what generally most ENT surgeons do is when we have to use this free field speech um, sort of hearing test is that we practice on people when we start off. So we look at someone's hearing test and go, ah, oh, right, they can't hear at that sort of level. So I'm going to see what they can hear. So you practice with your normal voice or even using a whisper at you know you know 60 centimeters or at five centimeters or whatever and you can work out you sort of calibrate yourself and you go well my whisper in this room it looks to be about 50 decibel hearing loss or something like that but it, if you've done enough of these bef uh, in time you get pretty close to what a hearing test looks like done by a proper audiologist in proper conditions but you need to be in the same room. You need to practice doing your whisper and your normal voice and your shout at the, at the same level as each time. It's not a good, not a good uh, technique, but it does help if you're a doctor and you're at a party and inevitably someone works out that you're a doctor and comes up to you and goes, oh, every time I do this, my shoulder clicks or I can't hear very well in this ear. What do you think it is? Do you think I should operate? And you're like, oh God, I just came here for some fun. But in that situation and you're, trying to help out someone who's clearly they're clearly worried about their hearing you can do a quick sort of hearing test this way by what i normally do is uh, a normal voice at an arm's length by rubbing this ear like that and talking into this ear here and if they can hear that i'll try a whisper if they can hear a whisper at this distance they've pretty much got normal hearing but if they can't hear a normal voice I come a bit closer, I try whisper at the, you know, all these little things. And you can roughly work out, actually, yeah, you've got a bit of hearing loss on this ear, and then you do the same on the other side. And you 
rub again on this side and and say, OK, can you hear this number? Can you hear this number? Um, and you can work out exactly what sort of hearing loss they have, how much is one side compared to the other. And hopefully it'll be useful for someone out there to know this. If you're doing this for exams, it's important to practice it, to make it look slick, make it look professional. Um, I almost guarantee you, you'll never use it other than at a party that you wish you hadn't attended to because someone found out that you're a doctor. But other than that, it is quite a useful skill to have. And it's quite useful for the exams as well. So you look like you know what you're talking about. And if they're comparing you against a hearing test, it would look really good if you can get roughly within a few decibels of what the hearing test actually shows. Anyway, do take care. I hope you found that useful. Bye-bye.